another jam. Let's go. And Lee Wei gets your kicks. No biscuits of action as Brickhouse Bardo enters late. But she wastes no time making her presence felt. There she goes. Hits a plenty. Let's get your kicks. This winner going to turn. Oh, sandwich. what is that? But the paramedic may just be ready to rock and roll as we're going to have the pack is being told what to do by the referees. Perhaps they'll explain as big as Barlow throws a hit and takes herself out. And it looks like Will Good is ready to re-enter the track. Had a girl. Will Good some hits. Showing she's not afraid to mix it up with a star on her head. As we have still got no lead jam in this. And it is going to be Will Good! Woo! Through the back first. But no referral advantage, but it does not matter. She will still be looking for points. There we go. As Brickhouse, Barlow sends a Larakai blocker to the floor. And the referees are calling for a pack. Oh, Lee Ray Rickham gets in the way of a blocker and takes her to the floor on turn two. Derby Dad's looking like they have something to say about the scoreboard right now. Oh. As Will Brewer takes a hit on the outside. And the referees are calling elbows to Larakai's pivot who will take her turn in the Sydney in just a moment. And looks like we're going to call this jam right now, but we are going to have a very lopsided block on the mark for this next jam, as we've got penalties of plenty being shelled out to Montreal's Lara Kai. And we're going to have Get Your Kicks, Brick House, And new few bullets. Rounding it out. Up against only two. Rath Poutine will hold it down for the blockers with the stripe on her helmet. And she will discard the pivot stripe. She does not want the attention. And she is oh. the Canadian psycho and sends her sprawling to the floor. Let's get your kicks, ladies and hit. Stratus Rex takes a hit. And it's going to be Canadian Psycho, Ronnie Jammer. Canadian Psycho with a lead jam. Put your table down so she's going to be through. She took a late hit there and she's going to reorganize. Ooh, she threw a little hit there and set by a kite on the floor. And she is going to call that one off. Slow pack. We may reckon tries to throw a little hit off the marks on Mally Wong. And the pack is nice and tight. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Mally Wong after Lara Kai with the lead. Well, they were not far behind. She will be most certainly asking there for a call this one off in just a moment as the pack speeds up. Then the devs take a spill. It's going to be Eskimo Joe and Sasha Fierce holding it down. And a long whistle sounds the end to another short boat. Gets your kicks off to a good start, throws a hit early. Another girl, GK. The shot's a good act. Try to do something that's going to be good. Canadian Psycho throws a hit against Ramosh. And she still tries to get through, and she is now past the blockers. 
But get your kicks, still want some points out of this one. Go, GK! Trying to get to the wall of green. And it looks like we're gonna have possibly a major or just a jam called all together before things get too serious. Lots of business in the sin bin, accounting for a very small pack. But it is growing as Montreal rejoins as Pivot. And it's going to be Montreal with the Legion Scroller again with the Stennis Flericai. Psycho is going to throw a hit as a jammer. He will become the fifth block after this one, it looks like. The squirreler is going to run away with speed. Get your kicks thrown over the outside. My Canadian Psycho takes two out to run the outside herself on turn two. Get her, GK, get her. Squirreler again is back through for some more points for Lara Kai. out again and Squirrel is going to run away on this jam making it very juicy for Montreal Come on, Debs. and Canadian Psycho takes a small hit from Wrath Poutine as the pack slows momentum Squirrel are getting put to the outside again and she looks like she may be ready she is going to get through one more time and the debutantes trying to get a goat somewhere. If they can possibly get some strategy going, they may be able to swing the tides. And it is going to be called, I believe, at the two minute mark. And a huge jump off the mark by Greta Bobo. And she looks to take the status, finds trouble in the pack. Oh, and a nice hit by Nufi Bullock sends her to the outside. Go, GK! And Sasha Fierce now taking advantage. Taking the waterfall ass kid away. And Brickhouse Bardo waiting for some action at the front of the pack. Come on, That's GK! Trying to take the status. Go, and GK! is getting in the way. Booty blocking her into the sunset. In the late stages of this one, and it looks like it's going to be. There it is, <laughs> Greta Go. Go, GK! Oh, another status, and get your kicks as the race on our tail. Get her, Trying GK, get, get her! And that pack is going to be nice and tight when they arrive. Get her, get her! And we're going to have a penalty dialed up to number. Pretty possibly round 15, but the jam is called. So we will figure this out and have another jam for you right now, featuring Hissy Carlington, Leather Lockley, or Eskimo Joe pivoting with Rexy. And it will be 5 by 5 Blue Ray Reckham. Taking the jam remarks. Status on this one as we wait to reckon having some trouble at the back of the pack. And she is going to get through as Rexy takes a fill. And the 5 by 5 still trying to get through, forced to the outside. And we're going to have a lead jammer. It's Melly Wana for Larakai. And a nice hit from the pivots. And Laura Kai sends Rexy and the leather to their knees. Crow calling for a pack 
adjustments. And it looks like we are going to have this jam in the books as well. Lover Kai looking like they're trying to run away, going on 140 to 75. Check the scoreboard in a minute for your updated version of events. But the devs are not going down without a fight tonight. And we will have a brief official timeout <laughs> as we must fix the duct tape at turn one. But we have an expert on hand. At least in one expert on hand. Look at this. The pit crew. And we're calling for a roll of duct tape. And again, may I mention, May 14th, tickets are now available at the door for $12 to the Royal Rumble when Royal City Roller Girls breeze into town and do battle with your GTA squad. And I believe next event will be next door in the arena, if I'm not mistaken. Check your dirty boat posters for those specifics. And again, thank you guys for coming out. And we're off, but we're slowing down. The slow derby has come out. Uh-oh. We knew we'd see it sooner or later. It was only a matter of time. Huh? Next thing you know, we'll be on one knee, but Wrath Routine is going to try and open up this door. What the hell was that? For Lara Kai. Get her, GK! And it's going to be Lara Kai! Red and Bobo, through again with the status for Montreal. Go, GK! Go on, GK! Get her! Get her! Let's go! Six goes to the box. Ben, that bout is good. The gem is going to be called as. Bang a leg and goes to the box for Lara Kai. And off the mark, she slips in front. <laughs> and she's gonna glide away. Get him, Bridge, get him! First. Oh! And she's down and up. Go, Brick! And she is gonna try and regroup as well on turn four. Come on, Brick! And we got some more hits coming, I believe, as Lalakai is through. Squirrel has got another lead status for Montreal Road Derby. But Brickhouse Barbeau has something to say about that. And she's got a brick! She's got in the tank. Get her, Brick! Get her! Nice tight plaque getting ready for the Jamos. And Squirrel is going to call it on that. She's oh. going to put that in the bank for Montreal Rotary. Atta girl, Brick. And we will have another one for you right now. 142.77. The not so updated version of events. Woo! 